welcome all today we'll discuss about a topic which most of the architects come across while deciding on the uh, tool of choice to perform any uh, etl workloads or data transformation workloads for any of the big data solutions uh, I i'm talking about an interesting choice that we generally have to make whether we should go for a emr based approach or should we go for a aws glue based approach right uh, both of these tools both of these services are uh, um, pretty much popular and uh, there are multiple customers who are using uh, either of these or in fact uh, some of them are also using both of these and both of them have uh, their own advantages and disadvantages uh, they have their own use cases uh, but often uh, we come across a situation where we need to make a choice and uh, we have to decide which one is the best fit for that use case and that is uh, you know more or less with any of the aws services uh, you you will see that you know uh, there are more than one service to do the same job and uh, the best way to decide on any of the service or which service to use it is based on what is the use case what is the requirement uh, what are the key driving factors are uh, to select these and there can be uh, technical reasons or then can also be some non technical reasons non technical as in uh, related to you know the skill sets whether those service uh, whether you have enough expertise within your organization to use that or uh, even if that service is available within that region or any of the uh, new features are available in that region or uh, are they still in preview so these are some of the non technical reason and when it comes to you know uh, technical reasons it is uh, whether that service is the best fit or not whether it can handle all the um, uh uh scenarios that you are looking for as part of the solution right so so let's go through some of the points here and uh, we'll we'll try to uh discuss all these points uh, mainly from a design and solution perspective uh, and uh, then we can we can see right uh, for which situation which tools uh, might be the best fit uh, i'm not saying that is the only uh, tool that you have to use but uh, in in certain cases it may happen that you know one of the tool is a uh, better than another okay so so what is what is emr emr is the elastic map reduce uh, it offers a lot of frameworks around 20 plus frameworks uh, within aws that can be used for implementing any big data solution and at the same time uh, there is also service called aws glue glue etl jobs which can be used for any uh, uh for any workloads like data ingestion and data transformations right glue is more of an etl tool emr is more of a complete uh, big data package uh, so when should we go for uh, emr okay let's go through emr first and at the same time i also talk about uh some of these uh, use cases where glue can be used uh, so whenever we are trying to implement a big data solution where we have a uh, really huge uh volumes of data um the variety there is a lot of variety in the data uh there is a lot of velocity in the data how uh, this can be you know uh, termed as one of the good use case for using emr right and it comes with uh, multiple big data uh, frameworks uh, it supports a lot of frameworks right from um spark hadoop uh, hdfs hive impala presto uh edge base you name it and you know it's it's already there so if if you're planning to use any of these services right if you're planning to build a solution where you need any of these services then emr becomes a default choice but in case you are just using spark right if it's just spark that you are using as the main key uh, service in your solution in that case you have both the options either for go or uh, using emr or glue right so uh, in 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 that case right then it becomes a choice whether you have to go for an emr or glue right so very first thing is you can look at what are the services that you need for implementing the solution if it is uh, anything other than spark then yes emr uh, the only option would be emr 
right but if 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 the solution can be built using spark then we have two choices between emr and do and then in this case is how do you make a choice right you can still implement that solution using emr or even using glue in such cases we can look up some of the other factors right uh, like streaming is one of such solu uh, such use cases right uh, if you have a real time streaming use case then definitely emr can be a a better solution mainly because it is uh, more easier to implement it now glue also supports streaming i, I think uh, uh, it's somewhere around mid 2020 uh, glue has started supporting streaming but still what uh, what i have seen based on my experience it is a bit uh, difficult uh, to configure and get that working it's not that easy and that is mainly because with emr you get a lot of control you can play around with the configs uh, but uh, when it comes to glue it is all uh, closed ended you you cannot play around with the configurations and all uh, especially if you are using something like uh, a kerberos based authentication for your uh, real time streaming use cases let's say you are getting some uh, packets from uh, your source system and it needs a uh, it is coming from let's say a kerberized cluster and it it has some you know um, typical hadoop based um, uh, uh, services that are being used then it becomes uh, difficult to get those configured in glue and have that integration uh, when it comes to emr it is much easy because you have the full control you can play around with the configs you can have the uh, same um, kerberos uh, kind of a setup in emr to talk with the other systems uh, these are the places where it becomes much easier to have emr so streaming is one of the you know use cases we can, we can still think of you know using emr and it can be a persistent cluster uh, running all the time uh, we can we can still um, you know start and stop it but it it helps uh, but at the same time if we try to do that with glue as a streaming use case it is still possible but i think it is a bit difficult but now a lot of changes have happened there are a lot of uh, features which are in preview um, like auto scaling features in glue and all so definitely that might help further but um, at, at at this stage if you are looking for a streaming use case i think emr would be an easier solution as compared to glue um, as, as we spoke about having more control right more control gives you a lot of flexibility when it comes to emr and i, I think the biggest advantage is uh, you can have a separate compute and storage let's say if you have emr with uh, emr fs like you are using s3 as a storage then you have a completely you know controlled separate compute and storage you can uh, um, scale up your uh, compute clusters uh, as per your workloads you can have various workloads for uh, various uh, use cases for uh, you can separate out your workloads for your uh, specific departments let's say you can have one emr cluster for sales you can have another emr cluster for your uh, hr department and so on so it gives you a lot of flexibility as well as you know the cost isolation as well uh, so all the chargeback and all becomes easy because you have you know separate dedicated clusters uh, which you can make use of uh, but a similar thing to do in glue it's not that easy because you don't get that control you have to it's, it's a serverless uh, service you have to uh, define the workload how many uh, worker nodes you need to uh, run with and that's it you don't get much control so if you're looking for uh, more flexibility especially for people who come from an hadoop world uh, they would prefer emr so this is one of the non-technical reasons right when i mentioned it at the start it also depends on what kind of expertise uh, you or your teams have if, if your team is more comfortable uh, with having that kind of control you have pretty good hadoop admins then definitely emr would be an option um but at the same time uh, if if you have teams who have a pretty good etl background let's say these folks are from um, uh, informatica a development team they understand how the uh, drag and drop approach in etl works then glue offers uh, glue studio um wherein uh, you can go and actually do a drag and drop kind of an etl development uh, which is also code generator once you have done that it will generate the code in the back end so if you have folks who understand that uh, uh, etl development world and they are more um uh, 
they are they are more comfortable with uh, the GUI based uh, development approach. Then again, you can think about Glue Glue Studio to have the drag and drop kind of a approach to build your ETL uh, tools. Right, that's uh, that's one of the advantages of having uh, having 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 Glue jobs. And uh, with uh, Glue 2.0 and 3.0, right, a lot of changes have happened. So previously, it was like the uh, glue jobs like when it was glue 1.0 it took a lot of time to start the jobs itself but now it is pretty quick within uh, within a minute i think the job can get started so if you're looking for a very quick solution um uh, something which can easily get um and get get started with you can definitely go with uh glue jobs so if, if compared to you know emr transient cluster where you have to build a cluster it will come up and then it will run and then it will get terminated compared to that you can definitely go for glue 2.0 jobs or 3.0 jobs where it is pretty fast to uh, build a glue job and uh, not not to build but to get uh, get anything executed in in glue and uh, glue offers not just spark but python also so in case you have any workloads uh, you have mixed workloads you can go for spark for your uh, complicated workloads and for simple ones right no need to go for spark you can just go for a simple python based glue job uh, which is pretty cheap as well as uh, it will get executed in no time so again uh, depends on what is the workload you are trying trying to run if you have something which uh, which is like an ad hoc querying kind of a thing or, or a ad hoc etl job uh, and you uh, want to do it within you know very lesser lesser time it has to get started then definitely glue would help as compared to emr but while we speak about all these things again the uh, the spark ui part is something you know which is missing in glue you can't really go and uh, look at uh, how the spark jobs in the backend are executing um those people who uh, understand uh, how the executor works and they want to you know have a look at the uh, spark ui jobs then um, i think glue does not offer that but emr it offers the spark ui and uh, in fact with the uh, latest changes right uh, even you can see a uh, complete spark ui of terminated clusters in emr studio uh, they have a, sp a special uh, a, a monitoring section where you can go and have a look at how the jobs have uh, performed previously so that you can compare you can see the logs as well so even if the cluster gets terminated you get that kind of a spark ui mechanism with your emr which is still uh, missing in uh, glue so a lot of changes have happened in last year within emr as well as glue emr uh, there are a lot of things that can be explored there are emr uh, notebooks emr studio uh, which helps you to uh, quickly create clusters or attach your notebooks uh, to the cluster same way it is there with uh, glue as as well so a lot of changes have happened uh, but at a very high level i still feel that if you are running a really large volume workload which needs a big data solution especially if it is uh, using any non-spark kind of a framework go with emr it will give you a lot of control and uh, it, it is easy to use plus go for transient clusters which you can terminate so that there are cost benefits you don't spend a lot of money on having those clusters up and running uh, go for a separate compute and uh, separate um, storage kind of a mechanism where you have s3 as your storage so that uh, you get the flexibility of uh, you know uh, even starting a new cluster by using the same data in some another um uh az or or our region so that your ha and dr related things are also addressed uh, whereas go for glue for uh, you know uh, etl kind of a jobs where you don't have a uh, heavy you know uh, workload and you need a serverless kind of a mechanism uh, plus uh, it is pretty easy to integrate with other aws glue services like the glue catalog uh, glue workflow if you're looking for simple orchestration it is just within glue you can go for the glue workflow as well so for all those things you can go for glue previously uh, you know before before glue dot 2.0 and all uh, uh, the general uh, um, uh, methodology was to you know for the historical data loads the one time data loads go for emr because it's a, a high volume job and for things like uh, you know your daily incremental etl roads where there is a less volume go for glue even that is a good approach 
uh, you can still stick to that uh, but yeah now with all these changes there are a lot of things which have opened up that you you can you know see uh, one thing about glue is that it has a lot of uh, 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 changes have happened for spark kind of a processing and there are things like dynamic frames which are better than the data frame once when, once it comes to glue but at the same time if you know um also think from a perspective that it may happen that today you're running some jobs on glue and maybe down the line later uh you may need a flexibility to move the jobs to emr so i would prefer writing everything in spark native either you run it in glue or and in future if you want to change it then you can move it to emr but then yeah if you don't use the uh, native ones you might lose on you know uh some of the native glue uh, optimizations which have been done for spark uh, as well as uh, the monitoring uh, capabilities within glue where you can actually monitor uh, what what is happening uh, so yeah the bottom line is if, if you have the expertise and you want the control go for emr again based on the other things like uh, the frameworks that you need uh, but if you want something which is very light and easy to be used and needs less configuration let's admin yes glue can be the approach so both both of them would serve the purpose it's more about you know what kind of a use case you have and uh, which applies to most of the services uh, but yeah it's not a, um, a, a, a zero or one kind of answer for this it all depends on the workloads and the best is uh, to have both of them in your scheme of things so that you can uh, utilize both of them have transient clusters in emr so that you don't you know um, have to invest a lot in the uh, cost optimization but yeah if you're using transient then i think both of uh, emr and glue should be there in the scheme of the things and plan to use it based on the workloads that you are trying to do hope hope this session helps and i uh, will try to you know discuss few more such things as we progress uh, in this series thank you